I live for the art. I live to do my artwork. I call it my creative therapy. You just get lost in it. Any worries you have, you just get the paints out, get the glass out. It just makes me feel so alive, totally on a daily basis of creating and doing what I love, doing literally doing what I love. I've always loved glass. What you can do with it, where you can take it, the transparency, the colours, the way the colours work together. I love the fact that you've got a medium that is solid, but you can heat it up and turn it into a liquid. And then the fascination really got me with what other th things I could create with glass. It's the choices it gives me. The glass gives me so many options to pull it in so many different directions. I can't think of any other medium that pushes me to be creative. Everything I do is inspired by what I see. Most of my inspiration I get through nature. Being in the garden, working in the garden, people always love things like nature. A lot of people actually have said they see things in my work that I don't see. I think that's the beauty when you, you just play around and do something, people will see what they want in especially if you're doing something like an abstract. People can just see what they like. Lighting's very important where you put a piece of glass. It just captures everything if you've got the right lighting. If you put it in a dark corner, you're never gonna get, you're never gonna appreciate what you see, what you can see in it. When I look into the jelly droplets, I just get lost looking in them. All the colours, you'll look at one droplet and see the way something's formed and you'll walk away and you'll come back to it and you'll look at it again and you'll see something else that you didn't see in another droplet. Every time I look in them, I see something that I didn't see before. From tiny, 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 I've, I've always been bitten with the art. Every other week I'd be painting my room and putting writing on the walls and doing stupid things. And Nana was a painter, my mum's a sculptress, so I think it's in my blood, really. You can't keep an artist in, you can't lock them up. I'm Helen Dine, a glass artist.